During his first State of the Union address last night, President Biden highlighting his progress as president, including the efforts made in fighting COVID over the last two years. We thank you for staying with us for NBC4 at 530. I'm Jennifer Bullock. And I'm Brad Johansson. One of the First Lady's guests at uh, the speech last night knows all too well. NBC4 Alan Henry joins us live in the newsroom. Alan, you spoke to that guest who is from Central Ohio. That's right, Brad. Jen, I just spoke to Rafine Dura, who is returning from her trip to Washington to sit with First Lady Jill Biden during the State of the Union. She says regardless of the politics, she was happy to see the hard work of health care workers acknowledged during the historical speech. And I said, are you, are, are you serious? At first, I thought he was kidding. After working a 12 hour shift, Rafine Duro got a call Saturday morning from the president of Ohio State's Nurses Association asking if she'd want to be the First Lady's guest to the State of the Union. Duro was recognized for the personal sacrifice she made during the pandemic, quarantining from her elderly parents and missing her son's third birthday to keep them safe. I um, chose to be a nurse and take care of people, make sure that I um, make a difference and help people. Therefore, I need to make that. I knew I needed to make that sacrifice um, by not being with my family. The last two days have been a whirlwind for Duro. One day helping patients, the next meeting the president. Meeting the first lady, and of course the president, and and having to shake his hand and um, you know take pictures with him. Um, this is once in a lifetime. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. You know I have to tell my son about it and he still doesn't know because he's not he's going to be five next month but but yes i'll never forget this politics aside duro hopes to see one of the president's priorities come true especially with covid you know there's unity he spoke about unity you know instead of um having two political parties just be unified and and do this together we're all in Aldura wasn't the only Central Ohio shout out last night's State of the Union. The president also mentioned the Intel Project and the widow of an Ohio veteran. You can find more on those in this story on our website, NBC4i.com.